What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Frank Sanchez versus Carlos Negron. What do we think about this fight? Let's get into it. Frank Sanchez is coming into this one with a record of 20 wins, zero losses, 13 wins by way of KO. Frank Sanchez, I feel, is an underrated heavyweight. He gets a lot of pushback because he doesn't always knock out his opponents. And those comments are warranted. And honestly, as spectators of boxing, who doesn't want to see knockouts? We all like a good knockout. I like a good knockout. You like a good knockout, especially in the heavyweight division. However, I think Frank Sanchez might be one of the most skilled heavyweights today. I mean, he's got all the tools. He's quick. He's fast, a good puncher, very good shot selection. He's very skilled as most Cuban boxers are. And while he might not always knock out his opponents, the Cuban flash dominates his opponents. In his last fight, he outclassed, outwork, and out everything against Christian Hammer. A few times he had him on the corner and played it safe. I thought if he would have pressed a little bit more, he could have got a technical stoppage. However, he got the win against Christian Hammer. In that fight before that against the power punching F.A. Ajagba, I thought that was one of his best performances from the way how he was moving around the ring, using the jab to keep the distance, punching at the right time, finding the openings, landing his own shots and not getting hit. He was very well prepared. And I thought he fought smartly because F.A. Ajagba does not need much space in order to close out the show. But a good win for Frank Sanchez. To me, he's one of those guys that the better the competition is, the more that he rises to the occasion. But when the competition is maybe not so good, maybe at a lower level, he fights down to their level. And it kind of serves as a double-edged sword. But nonetheless, I like Frank Sanchez. I think he does a lot of good things. And I'm sure he will be looking to put on a very good performance this weekend against Carlos Negron. Let's talk about Mr. Negron, right? 23 wins, three losses, 18 by way of knockout. This is Carlos Negron's first fight of the year. He's a big, imposing figure. He's 6'6", maybe even taller. But for as big as he is, he isn't that brawling type of guy. He's a patient guy. Almost a little too patient because he doesn't throw a lot of punches. In his fight against Scott Alexander, he had him on the ropes a few times in the fight. And maybe threw like six shots. And those shots were mainly jab. But he does have a decent right hand. But he doesn't throw enough for me to say that Frank Sanchez should be worried about the output of Carlos Negron. Right? He's a little predictable to me. I don't see Frank Sanchez having too much trouble in this one. I think Frank is going to win. It's just how does he want to win? I think he can he can come in there and outbox Carlos Negron from start to finish and put a beating on him. Or if he wants to get the stoppage, he can apply the pressure and let his hands go and he'll get that stoppage. And I'm not sold on Carlos Negron's chin either. I think if he gets caught clean one time, he's down for the count. Frank Sanchez is an all-around better boxer in every category to me. So in this one, Frank Sanchez, it just, how do you want to win this one? In my opinion, he should stop this guy. I would like to see him stop this guy. But nonetheless, I have Frank Sanchez winning. I'm going to say by stoppage in this fight. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, then you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find my social media handles on screen. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this long, then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.